Triangle of Trains is a unique experience that cannot be found elsewhere in the U.S., only in New Mexico. We start our trip in Santa Fe with the Santa Fe Southern Railway. Our friend Glenn boards one of the vintage coaches. Rolling through the high desert country, engine 93 built in 1956, pulling freight cars and passenger coaches built in the early 1900s, arrives in Lamy, the first leg of the triangle. The depot in Lamy was built about 1909. It is one of many stops for the Amtrak Southwest Chief on its way from Chicago to Los Angeles. The next leg of the triangle is Albuquerque, and Glenn boards train number three. The train will pass through Cerrillos, where parts of the movie Young Guns was shot. It will also pass through three pueblos, with majestic Sandia Mountain as a backdrop. Amtrak's Southwest Chief, Train 3, is on time in Albuquerque. Here it will take on fuel, water, and other supplies it needs for its trip to Los Angeles, California. Glenn gets off Amtrak in time to grab a quick lunch before he boards the New Mexico Rail Runner Express to complete his trip back to Santa Fe. After many years of discussion, in December 2008, Governor Bill Richardson made commuter rail a reality, and the New Mexico Rail Runner Express linked Boleyn and Santa Fe, covering approximately 120 miles. After enjoying a lunch, Glenn rushes to get on board the Rail Runner to complete the last leg of the triangle back to Santa Fe. After an hour and 20 minute train ride, the Rail Runner Express arrives in a newly renovated Santa Fe rail yard. The triangle of trains takes about six hours depending on all connections being on time. It's family, fun, and a must for the rail fan. Where can you catch a vintage train from Santa Fe, change to a cross-country superliner in Lamy, and board a sophisticated high-speed commuter rail back to Santa Fe? Only in New Mexico. This concludes our triangle of trains a New Mexico adventure. <laughs>